Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Um, well, shout out to Box Nego, Box Nego, stay dropping in bombs. New media, black media. Uh, you know, we on top of our game. Well, it appears once again, Canelo is not the star that they're making him out to be. Or should I say, Golden Boy is making him out to be. Once again, Canelo does not sell out a event. Uh, Canelo's numbers versus Sergey Kovalov does, well, not that good. He barely sold, when I say he barely sold, he sold a little bit over 10,000 tickets in an arena that hold 16,000. And they comped over 1,000 tickets. Now, they announced that it was like 14,000 in attendance, which wasn't, it was about, Basically, 1,100, I mean, excuse me, 11,000 and some change. You know, um, at the end of the day, um, this is more Oscar and Golden Boy trying to sell Canelo as the biggest star. Canelo's numbers have been, you know, just dwindling ever since he signed with the zone. Now, he supposed to did 20,000 for Rocky, Rocky Fielding, but that remains to be seen. Keep in mind, they've been rumors about Canelo's inflated pay-per-view numbers. They never released the actual numbers for uh, neither uh, Triple G fight. So, is Canelo really anybody's A-side? To be honest with you. Because his ticket sale say, says otherwise. Now, keep in mind, Errol Spence and Sean Porter did better numbers than Canelo Versus Sergey Kovalov. So I know the zone is paying him an exceptional amount of money, but is he truly the A side? You guys answer that question because it appears to me these numbers say he isn't. If he, I, I thought everybody wanted to see him fight. And then, based off the fact what happened on Saturday, where a lot of people believe that fight is fixed, then, you know, at the end of the day, people don't want to see Canelo fight these type of dudes. You know, um, as Fanon said, really, Sergey Kovalov was a fight that nobody cared about. And then based off the fact that a lot of people think the fight was fixed, that made it even worse for Canelo. Canelo's image is taking a hit through, you know, with the fans. At the end of the day, it's funny when you try to talk about Canelo, you get these old clueless ass clown uh, Canelo fans that want to bring up somebody else. We not talking about anybody else. We talked about him. We talked about the so-called uh, pound for pound king, the so-called dude who loved to handicap everybody. Like I said, if it was up to Canelo, he would put it in a contract to where you only could fight with one hand. But then he wants to get all this credit. And I'm glad Andre Ward didn't take, I'm glad Andre Ward didn't accept the fight with Canelo. Because once again, Andre Ward got pride. He ain't finna sell his O. And he ain't finna let Canelo like pimp him in negotiations. And then he somehow, some way gets to get some kind of, you know, decision that shouldn't go his way. And then all of a sudden his fans, oh, give him his, his credit. It's funny when he it's funny when he have a close decision, then, you know, these motherfuckers disappear. But then when you call him out on this bullshit, then all of a sudden, then you get these clowns talking about this racist and all that shit. Like I said, they need to look in the mirror and see who the real racist is. But once again, Canelo's phony attendance numbers, you know, inflated. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.